Well, it was it was truly a miracle. <laughs> oh, Gord. Oh, Gordy, Gordy, Gord. Uh, Unbelievable. It, we were sitting in the living room, and, and what happened was that um, I was watching some documentary on television, and, and Finley here was uh, reading some, he was doing some research. Yeah, research. <laughs> This is the voice of Gord. I wish you people would start getting my name right. Hear this. You too shall be the chosen ones. The final religion is here. You too shall be my prophets. To spread the word to the people, I bestow upon you the knowledge of bestism. The, the light. <laughs> the, oh. the, light just, the light just hit us. We saw the light. I mean, it came through. It's like, no wonder there haven't been any miracles lately. I mean, here we are, we've, you know, we've had the Creator for like thousands of years and we've been calling him by the wrong name. I mean, who would have thought his real name was Gord? The Book of One is kind of like, I don't know, like the yellow pages of bestism. I mean, you know, every religion's kind of got, you know, their, their big book, you know. But the problem with those is that they're, they're just, they're too long and they're complicated. The great thing about the Book of One is that it's, uh, one page. you know, it's just one page. Yeah, it's really simple. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have all these ambiguities and stuff. It's, it's, it's just very simple, and we like it that way. I read it four times today. Really? Yeah. Well, just like. Any other religion, bestism's pretty much like we believe in one heaven, one hell, and we only have one gourd. And uh, the only thing that separates us from uh, other religions is that in uh, bestism, as a bestus, once you pass on, you are immediately rewarded as a martyr without really having to kill yourself for any reason. And uh, you immediately go to heaven, and the minute you get there, within like seconds, you're rewarded with 69 virgins. Now, this virgin stuff isn't really like one of the sexist stuff either. You could be a woman and, and, and next thing you know, you're rewarded with 69 Chippendale dancers. Or you could be a 10-year-old Palestinian boy and you have 69 priests waiting for you. Or maybe like, I don't know, if you're gay or into that stuff, you could have like 69 Navy boys just singing YMCA to you the minute you get there. Well, in bestism, you know, the whole concept of, of hell is, is uh, pretty simple. I mean, it's not nearly as violent and destructive as, you know, other religions. Uh, you know, essentially, we believe that, you know, you still should be punished for your sins, but we don't think that you should really have to spend, you know, eternal damnation in, like, the depths of some fiery pit. Uh, instead, you know, the Almighty Gord has decided that, uh, you will spend eternity in uh, Dick Clark's closet with a lifetime supply of Chunky Monkey ice cream. Now, a little known fact is that uh, Dick Clark is in fact a minion of the devil. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can tell the guy has never aged. He's definitely the devil. Yeah, I think so. Well, there are two major issues when it comes to bestism. They're pretty simple. Uh, number one, confession and confessing to your sin. Um, and that part's pretty easy. It's just when, when, you, when you're ready to make a confession, basically all you have to do is you write down your confession, you sign your name, and you date it. And you pretty much just tear up the piece of paper and throw it in the, in, in the trash can. Or uh, if, if you're a Mac user, you can save it onto your desktop and just drag it into your trash bin. But uh, please be sure to uh, empty your trash before you completely log, on, log out and shut down. Yeah, I forgot to do that the other day. See, you yeah. need to go back. And, well, the second thing is praying. You know, and we figured, you know, it, this is a whole new millennium. People are busy. We got wives and kids and boyfriends and girlfriends and things like that. And it's really the thought that counts. You know, God doesn't ask for, uh, some people call it God, but Gord, in reality, doesn't really um, ask for a whole lot. It's really the thought that counts. And the word Gord itself uh, has four letters, uh, G-O-R-D. And uh, yeah, it's like there's four letters. and. It, each of the letters forms a series of different words, uh, ten permutations of the word gourd. And in bestism, bestism, we believe that each 
of the 10 permutations represents a, a level of meditation that brings you closer to God. Gord. 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 Uh, all, all you really have to do is basically count from 1 to 10. Whoa! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's, it's, it's like, it's like an 800 line. Yeah, it's a direct line to heaven. To, to Gord. Pretty deep. Well, the problem with religious holidays uh, these days is that they're just they're just totally overrun with commercialism. And uh, you know, as a bestest, we believe that there's really only one holiday, uh, which and we takes celebrate place it every yeah, Friday. Every Friday, we, we one holiday we celebrate it once a week. Uh, it's kind of a time for us to uh, to reflect on the week's happenings. Uh, it's also like kind of a quasi day of, of fasting where the only thing we can drink is red wine and the only thing we can eat is sliced bread. Well, tell them why. Well, why wine? Why not? Why not? And I mean, sliced bread, gorgeous. Gord thinks it's the greatest thing since. It truly is. What makes bestism? Uh, superior to all the other religions is the fact that it's still a very you know pure religion, um, whereas all the you know other religions really have kind of lost their way, you know, and been corrupted by the money-making propaganda machine that has pitted man against man and you know religion against religion and country against country. You know, they've tapped into the news media, essentially, you know, co like you know, twisting. Yeah. You know, everything's just done in yeah. the name of news and documentary. Yeah. That's not really the case with bestest. No, we're not about that at all. Mm.